Hi all, Mass Barn Cup from Kaiser Power Electronics. Today it is Wednesday the 25th of March. This is the 14th day in a row in isolation. Um, and we are still uh, sub 100 um, in intensive care in Denmark and sub 50 dead. So we are still at the bottom of the growth curve of uh, this uh, virus um, yeah, infection of the whole population. And by that, we, you can find many people talking about the exponential growth, but it would be more reasonable to talk about the logistic differential growth instead, because the population of a country is finite, so you will have a flattening out curve at some point. But we are still somewhere around here, where it's just picking up speed. And today's electronic subject to talk about is silicon controlled rectifiers so i hope you enjoy the scr or the silicon controlled rectifier also known as a thyristor comes in many packages we can start off by the oldest that i have in stock which is the hockey puck type uh, we can see it here it's the one with the wires here clamped along with a diode sitting uh, in between it and you can notice this huge aluminum uh, clamp that's sitting inside. And that's for two purposes. A uh, hockey puck a SCR needs to be clamped with about 100 to 500 kilograms of force in order to ensure that the internal current sharing during the whole injection in the uh, silicon material is st distributed evenly. So the force being clamped on this is actually crucial to its reliability but also operation if you took this hockey puck out of the clamp and you just tested it it would most likely on some types test open loop maybe in some 20 30 percent of your cases you you would get these testing open loop if not clamped probably now the second part is of course for heat sinking that you need to remove a lot of um, switching loss heat from these as this is a older technology you have more losses in these than you have in more modern modules now the more modern modules that came was the stud diode version here you do not have the need for a clamp but it is still pretty bulky large um, diode simply uh, that you have this package here put inside of a press fit casing down here so you have the whole mounting pressure already inside the unit. Now these, uh, of course, do also come in various sizes and shapes. And also here you can see it's meant for heat sinking. That's what you have the big bolt and nut for here. Now if we get over to the modern version of SCRs, you will usually see them in these packages here where we have the standard IGPT packets and then we have the more standard diode packets like this and they come in all kinds of sizes voltage ratings and also have some ISO top versions some um, semi top versions and even some pretty obscure uh, it's also a semi-pack O. Oh. So also another, it's actually mostly semi-crown packs I have, I notice. But the way these work is much like a IGPT MOSFET or other transistor that it's simply driven by a driving circuit. And you have a anode, cathode and a gate that you drive it with. Now, once you turn on a SCR or turn on a thyristor, there is, it's a little bit harder to turn off again. It's not like a MOSFET or IGPT where you just reverse the driving voltage to drive it off again. This will actually have to have its current flowing through the junction to go to zero as well before you can easily switch it off. And that's also why these have a lot of losses. And you will also mostly see these used in PFC frontends, where you yeah, have a good reason to control your, your rectifier. That you just wanted to fire at the right time in the circuit in order to yeah, adjust the phase angle of the input voltage 
uh, current draw. So I hope this gave you a little overview of SCRs, thyristors and the different modules that comes in. So until next time, see ya.